All right, there's my pop-out window. I'm gonna hop right inside of here. Okay, here you can see my pop-out motor. It's uh, on a sort of cam system. It's double jointed. There's a joint here and there's a joint there. That's what allows it to open up straight. <laughs> Some people don't want to believe that, but we're going to prove that wrong once again. But uh, this pop out right in here, you can see this plastic leg that's sitting on this piece of metal, which is not welded in. And that's one of the reasons why I didn't weld it in is because I want some adjustability on this to be able to play with it to get it to where it needs to be. Now, right now with how the glass is pushed into place, this doesn't come in contact with it, it's too far away. So I have to cut out a little piece of this metal and push that leg further into the body to be able to get this thing to come in contact. Once that does, then I can weld this into place and then bolt this to the window. I'm gonna glue them uh, when I actually make the final, the final piece of glass are gonna be glued in. But temporarily, right now, we are going to bolt them in. It's real easy to drill through plexi and that's the reason why I'm gonna do it that route. And of course, just put a bolt in there and then we'll call it done. Okay, let's go ahead and start popping out that motor and uh, getting a look inside of here and seeing how I can uh, either bend or remove a piece of metal to make that work. All right, I see what we've got going here. like I need to cut this off right at the cut that I had made previously and I only eyeballed that but it looks like I about nailed it okay now if only I brought my saw in here with me Look at that. It's right up against the glass now. Well, that was easy. <laughs> and the other beautiful thing about that is now that it's a little deeper into the, the wall over here, that means the cover that was gonna go over it is gonna fit a whole lot more snug and tighter. So it's gonna look a lot nicer on there, that's for sure. Okay. Okay, we're done for the day. See you later, guys. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs>
but we need to finish working on the electric motors and i don't know if the camera can see it yeah maybe a little bit but they're right there when i put the pop outs in with the hinges on it i discovered that the clearance was uh, way different than what i expected but the good thing was is i made those motors adjustable so we're going to hop down inside the body there and make some adjustments to these things and see if we can get them to function properly and call them done so hopefully this video won't be too long and if it is well we'll make it happen <laughs> anyways like comment subscribe plug that dingle belly check out duckshit.net for all my different social media links and uh, we will be back right after this intro By the way, if you're hearing all the popping, it's, uh, it's the 4th of July. Uh, just because we're in Pensacola doesn't mean it's necessarily gunshots. <laughs> so yeah, that's what the noise is in the background. And it's nighttime is approaching, so you're gonna start hearing more of it. Let me get a bigger drill bit. All right, bring that hole out a little more. And I pulled that sucker right off the ball joint. <laughs> All right. It's a good thing that was the junk one. I was actually going to replace that anyway because uh, the threads in it felt like it was stripped out. <laughs> All right, we've got our hole. Let me grab my bolt and my washer. And wow, fireworks are getting louder and louder. <laughs> we'll get this stuff straightened out. I'll be back in a minute. We've got our replacement end to go on the motor. I can just snap that right back onto the ball joint. Here we go. And then, should be able to get this bolts in here. And into that joint. I hope it's long enough to get it started. I hope I got enough turns on that. The bolt's just a little bit short. But it's tight on the inside and the outside. Now let's see how it opens. <laughs> nope, that bolt actually was not long enough. It just uh, pulled right out. <laughs> All right, well, we're gonna have to rethink that one with a longer bolt. Let's see what I got in my bolt bucket that can accommodate this guy. <laughs> it's the right size, just not long enough. I got a Phillips head. It's longer, and I think that's about all that I have as far as bolts are concerned. Line up, you shithead. There it is. Oh yeah, we got a lot more turns on that guy. That looks good. All right. <laughs> Now let's try it again. Here it is. It's 
was having a little trouble pulling against that seal, but that's not too big of a problem. I think I can lube that up. Actually, it looks like it pulled tight. Oh, it's fine. I was concerned, but it's fine. It's actually right where it needs to be. There it is, open close. And what do you know? Oh my God, it opens up straight. Helps if I get these wires here cleaned up a little bit so I can work it more. There we go. Go back the other way. A little problem with some loose wires in here. There's that asshole with that McDonald's car that you see all over the internet with the loud music going down the street here. Driving extra slow with a McDonald's car. You idiot. Let's see if I can get him on camera. Guy looks like the biggest douche ever. Look at that douchebag. McDonald's. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. The McDonald's car that you see on the internet that everybody makes fun of is a Pensacola car. Douchebag. All right. Well, we're working over here. I was a little concerned about the seal, not sealing up, but actually it looks like it's fine. I think we're gonna be good in this department. That motor seems to work. I'm gonna get around the other side and adjust that one just the same. And fireworks. But I'm starting to get just a little bit annoyed with all the racket of the fireworks. And I don't have a problem with fireworks. I just don't like the fireworks going off while I'm recording a video. So anyways, you guys, thanks for watching. Licky likey, comment, subscribe, pluck that dingle belly. That way you get updates every time I upload a video. And don't forget to check out DuckShit.net for all of my different social media links. Thanks so much. And uh, if this video turns out it's not long enough, I'll finish the other side in it later. <laughs> just want to avoid them fireworks. As I said, it's disturbing my video. Thanks so much. Take care.